Most drugs aren't habit forming. True or false? False. The actual fact of the matter is when a drug wears off, the person wants more. I want to take a minute to just describe exactly what happens there. First of all, let's say this little line here that I'm about to draw represents a person who, let's say he's just under a little bit of stress, you know? He's a little nervous, he's a little stressed out. He takes the drug and what the drug does is it temporarily lifts him out of that stress. The problem is, is that inside the person's body, calcium is burnt up, vitamin C, B complex, and many, many other nutrients are destroyed. So when this drug wears off, he comes down off this drug, he comes down in a slightly lower condition than when he started, but not enough to really see it. So if this made him feel better for a while, what do you think he'll do again? Exactly. He tries it again and son of a gun, it lifts him again, but the high isn't quite as high as it was the first time. More nutrients burn up in the body and he comes down in a slightly lower condition. Each time he takes that drug, the high isn't quite as high. Each time he comes down, more of the nutrients in the body are burnt up and he finds himself in a slightly lowered condition. The problem is, is that normally he doesn't see it. In other words, it's acting so slow on his body that he can't see the slow deterioration. After a while, he doesn't want that drug anymore. He actually needs that drug just to feel normal. Don't miss our next in the series, number five. Alcohol isn't a drug, true or false. Don't miss it.